You're listening to Masala Chai. Hey guys, welcome back to another amazing episode of Masala Chai. Uh, I hope you guys like that intro. It's a new one that I'll be using from now on because I realized every good podcast has an awesome intro to begin the day. Now, anyways, uh, I would like to proceed with today's episode where we'll be talking about memory. Uh, yeah, a bit more of that later on. But I first want to just tell you guys that today's episode, if you're watching this on YouTube, you won't see my face because I'm not recording my face cam today. I'm trying something new. I'm going to get my camera in here. I've ordered a lens. It'll come back. Uh, I mean, it was, it's going to come in a, in a while. So I'm not sure when it's out. Uh, when it is, then then I'll, I'll try this entirely new thing, a bit more higher quality, a bit more of a, um, you know, a better podcast, because I because I see how much people are really enjoying this podcast more than I ever I ever thought. So um, a lot of success has been going on with my YouTube channel recently, because especially my cycle uh, documentary short film and the teaser itself. It's uh, reaching almost 10,000 views. I'm, I'm guessing tomorrow I'll reach 10K. And uh, hopefully more. And uh, and because of this, I'm I'm quite excited to see the future of my channel and the future of uh, Masala Chai on his own. Because this podcast has actually been quite beneficial for a lot of people. I've, I've received a lot of good feedback that people are enjoying this. And so I'm actually really happy to hear that. And I'm willing to put the effort into making this a, a very good part of your life uh, that, that you were just a part of. You know, we're like a family down here. So anyways... Uh, yeah, don't worry about my, my, my face cam. We'll fix that next, hopefully next, next episode, if not the one after that. But anyway, as of now, we're going to be talking about memory. So what about memory am I going to be talking about? As a matter of fact, I, I did a mentorship, mentorship, I can't say the word properly, mentorship session with my, uh, my old school with a bunch of, uh, um, guys who are who are still studying there I, I was invited by my school alumni so, uh, association to go back to school not necessarily go back but essentially you know pay back to the school by really just uh, mentoring these few students who were willing to learn a specific area of of a subject or an area of uh, you know improvement for their school lives and what i did was uh pretty much how to maximize your memory and how to utilize it in order to achieve whatever goal you have. Uh, memory is something that I personally, you know, had a lot of issues with because it's not, it's easier said than done. You know, it's easy to say, oh, I can memorize this. Oh, I can just study this. But it, it's much, it's much more complicated than that. And it all changed once I read this book called Moonwalking with Einstein. It was written by Joshua Four. Um, this is an amazing book. Actually, a lot of what I'm saying is quite inspired from him. Uh, that that book kind of really changed my life, and it it is kind of what like boosted my my knowledge and my confidence throughout my international baccalaureate uh, uh, academic journey, I guess. And um, and now that's also you know incredibly changing my life as a uh, military policeman. So that's something to take note of. Um, but but yes. What what about memory? Am I going to be talking about? It's not like a lecture. Don't don't get me wrong. Uh, lectures are not really my thing. If anything, I like to teach people with with stories and jokes and whatnot. As a matter of fact, you can ask anyone who was in that mentorship mentorship. Se- I still can't say the word <laughs> mentorship, mentorship. Pronunciate, Adrian. Mentorship, t or ship. Okay, I think we got there. So the mentorship. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God! I really got to go back to class and learn how to speak English. You know, a funny thing. I had my IELTS a few days ago, which is the uh, international English. Um, forgot what the L S T stands for now, uh, but essentially it's um, English proficiency test. It just tests how good I am at speaking English and writing, reading, and listening, and all that. I just did that a few days ago, and I can't say the word mentorship. Oh, there it is. I said it. Anyway. Uh, you can ask anyone who who was in that session. Um, I, I try not to get so mundane and boring and only talk about facts and all that. I try to pump in a lot of jokes as much as I can, and um, and and that's what's the secret to having 
a good classroom. It's it's engagement. You know, more than engagement, you should bring a sense of interest to the students out there. If they're willing to learn, then uh, it only depends on how well you're conveying a subject, or or if if your knowledge on that subject is through is driven through passion, then your students can clearly see that, and that passion is what will, you know, essentially drive their uh their want to learn more about it. And I had a lot of drive. Uh, I was really, really excited to share my knowledge to to people who are younger than me because I really thought anything that I learned, especially knowledge in general, is meant to be shared. That's why I love reading books. Um, but books are just, you know, people think I'm a nerd because, hey, this guy reads books, bro. He's such a nerd. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, the truth is reading books really do give you a bit of a higher perspective it really teaches you the mistakes that people have made so it kind of tells you what not to do because you know history repeats itself it's all a cycle uh, pun not intended um so with that in mind it's worth considering how much information you're going to learn by looking at people's experiences whatever mistakes they've made there's a really really good chance you're not going to make them yourself and uh, that's kind of why i love to read books and i don't read these fiction uh, love story books or or Percy Jackson or whatever because for me as an individual if I'm wasting my time reading books I'd like to read something that's worth my time if it's purely for an entertainment purpose then I can understand but me I try to utilize as much as I can with with the books I'm reading I try to learn as much as I can knowledge is power it truly is but if there's one thing I've learned about knowledge is it's overpowering meaning that the more you know the more well the more s- stuck up you get you know um you're a bit more depressed per se because you kind of know when you start to understand when you understand to know things that that are just you know the way things are it really proves the the the, the age-old saying uh ignorance is bliss because it truly is um that's why like if you take the dumbest person you know they're probably the most ecstatic the most happy or at least you know the most do goody person you've ever seen because that's that's exactly why uh, they they choose to ignore everything that, everything that's going around them and that's something that i envy in a lot of people because really ignorance really do be the bliss boys and girls yeah but yes what i'm trying to say is uh, books are great and uh what does this have to do with memory yeah i know i know don't worry i'm getting there i think i'm actually making this up as we go but you know uh life is pretty much the same thing you know you make stuff up as you go or else uh, you know a plan plan is always going to fail but a no plan is never going to fail because you know there isn't a plan where did i see? i've seen that from somewhere i just don't remember where i got that from anyway yeah um so that meant mentorship meant again mentorship session was very very um eye-opening for me i really enjoyed it it kind of opened up a new world to me because i really did enjoy teaching um it was it was a new experience i will not lie uh i'm definitely down to doing it again uh and i'm you know i'm just a bit more open with with stuff like that uh but yes but my main 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 thing i wanted to give is is a bit of advice to people who are watching or listening uh to this podcast my advice to people when it comes to you know coping with with stressful moments in life is you know to really really accept it there isn't anything you can do to avoid mistakes or or avoid sadness because it's tend to have it, it's bound to happen it's it's kind of wired in our lives because you know if if sadness doesn't exist then happiness won't exist either you know if there isn't black there isn't white if there isn't darkness there is no light wow that that rhymed that that was that was a good saying uh someone someone put that on a t-shirt yeah good Anyway, uh what I'm trying to say is, you know, really live in the moment. I spent too long in my life living in the future, thinking about what's going to happen, what might happen, what should happen. But in reality, I keep forgetting what is happening, you know? Uh living in the moment is one of the first things and the only things you can do uh in your life. And it's better realizing that early on than later on in life. Because then you'd have not lived, but only eager to live you know to want to live and um and that realization when it hits you it will really hit you hard 
and uh, a lot of people can't struggle. A lot of people will struggle with it and uh, can't handle that that simple realization. So just just think about that for a moment. Um, you know, really, I, I get a lot of people blaming themselves, bl- blaming other people, blaming the world. But I, 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 mean, I was also one of those people. For instance, when I first came into the national service here in Singapore, I kept blaming the army. I was like, what is this? It's so stupid spending two years of my life. What am I going to gain from this? What am I going to learn? And uh, a part of me still feels the same way because, like I said, I am three years behind every one of my mates, my friends, the guys who graduated with me. They're all three years ahead of me while I'm, you know, three years behind them uh well while they're studying and and improving their careers i'm down here serving and what does that uh you know what am i gaining from that i i don't know it's a question that i'm really asking myself it's a dilemma really because the main thing is going through a journey is not important if it doesn't have a purpose the purpose is more you know a more meaningful without a purpose nothing has meaning without meaning nothing has purpose and uh, and that's something that life is essentially about a lot of books i've read especially uh a book called what uh sorry i think it's called uh when bad things happen to good people by harold s kushner an amazing book it's about a you know a man who who's gone through a lot of terrible life stories a life experiences but he turns it all around. He uses that experiences and helps others with it. Um, it's a true story. It's very religious, I have to say, which is uh, a kind of segue to the the topic that Halcyon and I will be talking about next week, because um, uh, both of us are Catholic, and that's that's a common factor that we both have and that's something we'll be talking about you know religion on its own and i don't want to spoil too much about it this week it's something that we'll talk about next week uh next week so uh, stay tuned for that but this book is very interesting because it really do does discuss the kind of lifestyle people learn live you know because you have you have to start thinking about what what is defined as a bad person and what is defined as a good person. That definition alone is what matters on whatever judgment you make because we can be too fast or too quick to judge without knowing the full story of a person. There was this one quote that I actually read online, I think. Don't judge a person based on the chapter that you entered their life on. Meaning that, you know, a life could have been... A person's life is obviously not like just five minutes long and it's been years and years of of, of life, um, of whatever they've lived. So don't walk in into their life as a new person and just start judging them based off what, who, who they are now because this is their current chapter. You don't know who they were in their previous chapters and you sure as hell don't know who they will be in their future chapters. And uh, this is kind of an interesting concept that Jay Shetty talks about in his book, uh, Think Like a Monk. Um, it's just very, very interesting to see an individual with such a turnover. You know, you just ch- you just change out, out of the blue. And that is such an inspiring concept. I personally feel like something like that to happen is is very interesting. It, it truly is uh, eye opening and it's inspiring as as just a common man in, in 2021. Um, yeah, I mean, people just, I mean, I, I, all I'm trying to say is you can judge people too easily, but you cannot take back words that are said uh, because words are, are kind of like bullets. You can't reverse them. Once they're shot, they're shot, you know, the all, all, all the powder is just gone. It's used and you've already shot the person in their shoulders. Um, and so just think, just think carefully, you know, just, just think about whether the weapon's unsafe, you know, uh, if the safety's on, then go ahead. You might want to, you might want to say something with, with a bit of a filter on, (laughs) you know, this reminds me of a person that, that I'm I'm having to deal with on a day-to-day basis. Um, I mean, if that person's listening to this podcast, I'm not sure if they can very well figure out if that's who i'm talking about but um you know this person's quite hard to to liaise with if i should say 
there's a lot of a lot of issues when it comes to in the workplace when, when there's people there um having to manage them is is quite a tough time because you have to cater to everyone uh, at the end of the day this is a democratic country i guess as most countries are um and and the way a system works is based off of uh you know kind of like equality while we are living in a democratic system we're kind of looking for a communist approach in the sense that everyone gets the same opportunities and everyone essentially uh gets treated fairly gets treated equally and we try to and I, and I and I do my best to incorporate that into my work and I I confirm I can confirm that I do incorporate that with my work because the the job that I do is a bit more towards the the planning side with the uh you know, really taking responsibilities and and really taking things onto myself and, and, and just, just dealing with them. And not only that, but dealing with people as well. And dealing with people is one of the harder stuff to do in life. And I'm just actually kind of grateful that I have this, this opportunity here in, in national service to be able to do that because it teaches me a lot of stuff that I'll be able to use in future uh, workplaces or in, in whatever things that I that I get myself involved in. It's the same thing in the filmmaking industry because the things that will bring you down are are not your story, are not your screenplay, but other people who you're working with or other people who you're rivaling with. And people in general are are the code that you need to you know figure out. Uh, at the at the end of the day, if you're playing a game, if you're playing chess, you're not playing chess. You're playing the man. You're playing the man, and that's essentially what we talk about when. Uh, when I want to, when I, when I say when I want to be a lawyer, uh, being a lawyer is all about, you know, not playing the case, but playing the man who's handling the case. It's a very common thing that Harvey Specter in Suits said a lot of times, and it's kind of inspiring because although it is a fictional show, it's true. He's not wrong, you know. Uh, it and and I tried incorporating that with my lifestyle, and it works in my my workplace. It definitely works. And the the saddest thing is. The person doesn't realize that they're being played, you know, whether they're playing themselves or whether it's me kind of, you know, just pulling their strings just to get just to get what we need out of them because there aren't they aren't like socially aware or they aren't they aren't just socially, you know, how do I say open or or they don't have that maturity to be able to understand what is required of them at, at a hostile workplace. And so as an individual who's having to manage them, I find it extremely difficult. But slowly, I have been gaining that maturity. I've been gaining that experience. And um, and it's kind of going well, I have to admit. And that's something that I wanted to share with you guys because I think experience is very, very important. And um, and I think you guys will gain that if you if you try to do your best in whatever you can. And so I know we started with today's topic as a memory and now we ended up with with something to do with uh, personalities and how to deal with hard hard people but the truth is life is not going to be easy any, all the time and uh, you're always going to be facing troubles and and uh, and dilemmas but the, at, but the end but the at the end of the day god i can't speak but at the end of the day you're always going to find a solution okay because at the end of the day the day ends <laughs> That's another thing I read online. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that's enough wisdom for my podcast listeners. From next week, you will be listening to me and my friend Halsey, and we will be talking about religion and anything that entices that, uh, anything that's a part of it. Don't worry. I'm not going to be converting all my listeners to become Catholics or anything. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to be discussing all the stuff that, you know, really what 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 really uh what is a religion and uh, what classifies as a religion you know and uh, the kind of beliefs that we have and what what does that mean to to essentially have that um and it's going to be a very very interesting concept it's hopefully not going to be very controversial i really hope it isn't because people can't take jokes or people cannot take things uh, and lightly they take it so seriously and that's kind of worrying but you know what i don't care anymore if you don't have the maturity to react 
as a as an adult to these things, then then just don't listen to my podcast. As simple as that. With that in mind, that is the end of today's Masala Chai podcast episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're listening to this on Spotify, please make sure to follow my uh, my account and uh, stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel to find and listen and watch to more of my podcasts.